I am a member of uh, ASPIRE, uh, which stands for Asian Students Promoting Immigrant Rights Through Education. And it was because of the organization that I began to uh, work on uh, immigrant rights uh, advocacy uh, during uh, 2011, uh, 2012 uh, when DACA was announced. And at that time, I uh, felt there was a lack of uh, discussion around uh, gender and sexual orientation in the discussion of immigration reform mm -hmm. um, because um, many of the leaders within the uh, the movement pretty, I want to say, uh, stereotypical, uh, very masculine leaders mm -hmm. um, felt really discontent with the situation that um, I started questioning what is it about my identity as a queer woman uh, and being undocumented and Asian have anything to do with what everything else that was happening because mm. people were still being detained and then arguably people who are queer, transgender and everything are treated worse than their uh, the the other undocumented uh, immigrants who are being detained in detention centers. Mm -hmm. And what I sort of when I began to process that, uh, that's when I decided that um, immigration reform aside, uh, stopping deportation and detention uh, was more urgent to, to me, uh, seeing the people who I identify with the most are uh, also suffering the most. So I've began to tell people that I'm really grateful to be undocumented. It's definitely something that I would not have said about maybe five years ago since um, um, I moved here, um, mainly because being undocumented has allowed me to see many different things that I would not have been able to see before, such as my privilege of being East Asian, how I've always been navigate, uh, be able to navigate uh, the system without people t saying, hey, you don't look like you belong here. I mean, yes, there were, but it mm. wasn't to the, the same level as of, of hostility as to undocumented Latinos. And, mm. and because of that awareness, I've um, really begun to process what uh, citizenship means um, or what it doesn't mean. And in not just immigration, but also in um, everything else that uh, every other identity that we um, talked about, um, whether you belong or you don't belong, that's not something that other people can point to you about, right? Um, and I think that's that's been sort of my, um, I guess, something that I uh, keep in mind with uh, whenever I go into. Uh, different community spaces, um, knowing that um, I am coming from a humble background and that um, there are a lot of things to learn um, from our roots of um, not just being uh, immigrants, but also being like different identities that have been historically marginalized.